Hello, it's Anneli van Rinsburg again. The next technique I want to show you is um, I'm going to paint a purple glaze as soon as it's dried. Um, I'm going to put another layer on of another color and then I'm going to drip a little bit of rubbing alcohol into it. So I'm just going to put now a layer of my, my ink there. like this and then I'm gonna leave it to dry it must be dry 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 and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna put another layer with a rubbing alcohol okay this one is dry now I'm gonna as I said the, earlier I'm gonna put um, two colors of ink on here and then I'm gonna put the first layer let it dry then I'm going to put a second layer and when it's still wet I'm going to put in the rubbing alcohol. So uh, I chose a little bit of white now, maybe we can see it better. So I'm just going to get a little bit of white out. A little bit of water. I'm going to put a very runny wash over the pink or the purple and then while it's wet I'm going to drop in the rubbing alcohol. Just take that here. Now I'm going to take rubbing alcohol, it's, I think it's 91%. I'm just going to drop that in. And I'm going to let it uh, get to work. And um, when it's dry, I'll come and show you how it looks. I want to do the bandage gauze one again. The first time we used this one, you can see it's uh, closely woven where this one that I used the, lo the first time is more loosely so I'm going to use this now to show you and then we'll see what's the different effect of the two so I'm just going to cut a piece off here I'm just going to unravel it a little bit at the, at the ends like this and I'm going to put a little bit of my ink a little bit of my water I'm going to take my brush I can see I can put a little bit of more water in otherwise it's too I want it um, runny consistency I put a little bit more there where I'm gonna put the gauze then I'm gonna put it down Just pat it with my brush. Then it can soak up all the inks. 
So I'm going to let this dry and as soon as it's dry I'll show you how it looks like. If you would like me to show you other techniques as well are you welcome to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll I'll do it for you. So now I'm going to use rice, ordinary rice. Um, I'm first going to put a, a runny layer of my acrylic inks. I'm going to take my rice. I'm going to sprinkle it and I'm going to leave it to dry okay this one dried as well um, it's the two colors with the alcohol ink I just put the purple in, uh, um, on the first go let it dry thoroughly put my white on my white ink and I drip the alcohol inks in and you can see um, gives you a lovely texture okay this one also dried about for three hours now um, it's hot here in South Africa so it dries quickly um, if you maybe live in a country where it's cold I think you must leave it overnight um, I'm gonna take this off and then we'll see um, the first one I did was that fine fine mesh I, I don't know if you can remember that fine bandage and I use this one now for this one but I think this one, one is going to work the best for me that's what I would prefer okay here we go oh yeah 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 that looks nice eh? okay I let this one dry a little longer it's the rice on the watered down um, ink um, we'll see now when I reveal it how it looks I hope it's gonna look nice usually it, this is a nice technique to do um, I'm gonna take off the rice now and then we'll see mm, it looks really nice sure this is also one of my go-to's when I do mixed media. I'm just going to bring it up for you that you can see. There you go. It looks nice, eh? I've got a few favorites. Okay, I'm finished now. I think I've done the most of the techniques that I wanted to show you. So what? I'm okay, this one was the salt. So I'm going to write salt that I can remember. This one was the rubbing alcohol just on one color. This one was the wax paper. This one was the first bandage, but it was that fine one that didn't add a lot of holes and stuff. It also made it a nice interesting background there, it doesn't matter. Okay, this one was the cling wrap. Or the plastic wrap. This one was the rice. The two colors were the rubbing alcohol, so it was the purple. The white with drops of rubbing alcohol on top of the last color. This one was the the, the bandage, the other the, the second one that's got a lot of loose weave and holes. This one was the tissue paper, and this one was the stamp. So what you're going to do now, you're going to get yourself a ruler, some 
something. You're going to decide which one of these are in front. It doesn't really matter. You can maybe... Let's start with the stamp. So what I'm going to do is I've made uh, slightly um, pencil marks there just to see where, where it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure I flatten that for myself. Then I'm going to go to the other side. Just make sure you are on the same size. Then the next one. my last fold remember you can actually make this book as big as you want um, as long as you want depends on your size of paper as well I'm just gonna flatten it a little bit And there you go. I can't wait to flip through this. Let me just bring the camera a little bit closer. Okay. There's your king wrap and your plastic wrap. Then you've got your rice, your purple and white with your rubbing oil thing. Then you've got your bandage with the loose weave, your tissue paper. Then you go into your stamp. Then if you open this one up, you've got your salt. You've got your rubbing alcohol, waiting to wait. You've got your wax paper there. You've got your fine bandage there that is a little bit of a mess up for me. And the cling wrap and the plastic wrap. Now there's your nice book. So what you can do is you can easily take it out if you want to do... You can flip through it, through it and decide, oh, I like the rice. And write everything down for you there that you can remember. And then you can you, you know what to do now. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed making a little book with me. Um, I like this because they quick references in between if I need something and I want a specific texture or so. So I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed to make it for you. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.